Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is Saturday, the 27th of spring, very early morning, and it happens to be Emily's birthday today. But let's start the day the right way and check in on the weather report. What's it going to be like tomorrow? It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. Marvellous. And the fortune teller, Welwick, what's, uh, what are the spirits whispering right now? The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Well, very well. I will bear that in mind. Uh, we've got a watering can in our pocket. Fantastic. That's, that's all we're going to really need uh, for where we're going. Uh, sadly, odds of you surviving fairly slim. Fairly slim at this point. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any more waters uh sorry uh harvest out of any of the plants we've got here now so it is time for us to get our watering can upgraded because tomorrow none of our plants are plants that can survive the seasonal changeover we can go on the 27th to get our watering can upgraded because the 28th there's no point in watering anything because everything that is alive in the farm as long as it's not a multi-seasonal plant is going to die at uh, day change so there's no point in watering it on that day and if we take it in now, then we may well get the watering can back on the first of summer, ready to plant a whole slew of new crops. I'm extremely, extremely happy about that. Ooh, let's have a quick look. Top secret. Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone I'm giving it to you because we are such good friends. Pierre. Codename. Blueberry Muffin Man. Uh, no, it's, it's not. Uh, Avak, remember to eat healthy, or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use, uh, use ripe tomatoes. Spaghetti! Thank you very much, Lewis. That's incredibly kind of you. It's incredibly kind of you. I imagine uh, Pierre would be the, the, the sort of man to have a code name for himself. Uh, so that he can send all of his pals his favorite recipes, but without uh, leaving any obvious evidence around. He clearly just forgot to, to use it this time. That's, that's, that's all. Everyone makes mistakes. It's fine. Uh, Borita, Yoko, no, come back, Yoko, please. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and get a little bit of water in your, your bowl there. Now, have our bat friends brought us anything? I think it takes a couple of days for them to bring I take it all back. They've brought us many things. Oh, glorious, fantabulousness. Diolchenbaur. Diolchenbaur Yaun. My goodness, such a, a handsome bounty of food. Wow, wild plum is needed for something. Spice berries are already needed. The blackberries are already needed. Okay, then. You know what? I take everything back that I was saying about the bats. That was quite the uh, the hefty harvest. There we are. And the blackberries as well. I don't know how many of those we're going to need. <sighs> Look, I... No, no, we we need we need to take one of these. They they have to come with. In fact, all of these need to come with, really. But especially that that needs to come with me. We're taking that. We're gonna give it to Emily. I know it's needed for so many things, and and Gunther also needs one as well. But no, this uh, I'm putting my foot down. This is a high priority. First though, we're gonna swing by Robbins and see if we can't get uh, can't get. A coop built. I think it's got to be a coop. Uh, that being said, let me just double check. Have we got all of the space cleared that I want to clear? Um, yeah, I think we'll have the coop down here. That seems like a nice little spot for it. I don't know how I'm going to move the rest of the uh, the area around, but ultimately you can move buildings anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. I should go on my fishing rod, actually. Do a little spot of fishing while out on the boat. But I, th I suspect we're going to be swinging back to the uh, to the uh, farm fairly, fairly soon today. We've got many, many things that we need to do. Also, Linus, hold up, mate. Here you go, buddy. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome, mate. More than welcome. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. You don't need it. No one needs them. But like, uh, like art and philo philosophy, which have no intrinsic survival value. They give value to survival. Hello, Robin. Hey. Hey to you. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you Don't you think? I actually do agree. Yes, it is a beautiful area. Hello, Maro. 
Do you know my dad, Demetrius? He's a scientist. I have a lot of fun helping him out in the lab uh, laboratory. Do I know... Now let me just double check with Robin. Uh, oh no, that's definitely. Uh, Robin, what items do you like? Dislike leaks, fair enough. Uh, yes, we learned that in the last episode, actually. Maru, uh, you consider daffodils a normal gifts, okay. Well, how about leeks, dare I? Thanks. Okay, I, I imagine that, that's a, a normal gift, but at least it's not a bad gift. I will accept it. I'll take that. Yeah, normal gifts. Fair enough. Right, Robin. I think I have decided. I would rather be able to give a home to some chickens than rather have a better home for me. I've already got a functional home. I am going to miss not being able to, to cook. We need to get that soon. But, no. We're getting a coop. Now, it's... Oh, actually, it's... Uh, I forgot that it's such a convenient shape. Hmm. Had I remembered that, I may have picked another spot for it, but I think this will be good enough. I'm probably going to have a path going straight down there, I imagine. So if we have this just a tiny bit further across, then you know what? We could just nestle it in here. We could, I'll just have to remember to... If I put, pop it here, I should be able to see that up there. I'll have a little little, uh, little um, fence or something there. I think this, this is going to be lovely, though. Plonk. There we go. Oh, what a wonderful way to, to, to be wrapping up spring. Okay, I'll start work on your new coop first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you so much, Robin. I'm going to be so happy that in spring we're going to be able to open up with getting some actual chicks. That's going to be amazing. Let's grab you. Uh, let's see. Uh... Well, let's go and check in on the quest board. See what's going down. Trying to keep the artificial alive. I'll be 90 gold. So any fisherman catches three carp. Good luck, Willy. Maybe. But also maybe not. Maybe not today. Hello, Abigail. The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. It is. <sighs> I seriously love this. You're the best, Avak. <sighs> it's fine. If you find any wild produce, I'll take it off your hands for a reasonable price. Uh, I will do my best to find some uh, some such wild produce. Here you go. You already give. Oh, I've already given you too too many gifts. I apologize. Uh, you had something else to say, though. I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. I hope they do. It's always a, a rare pleasure to see you uh, playing the flute for the frogs. Alright, let's go and have a look for Emily. I mean, ultimately, we just need to wait for her to uh, drop by uh, the saloon. Here you go. <gasps> for me? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm feeling an urge to go shopping. <sighs> I wish there was a mall here. I'm kind of glad there isn't, but I I mean, I hope that it's... Uh, well, actually, until Pam's bus is fixed, I guess there isn't an easy way for you to get into the city. Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? Uh, yeah, I, I think so, yeah. I'm on the job seven days a week, though. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go and uh, swing by... Oh, no, I didn't bring the copper. Oh, what a derp. What an absolute classic AVAC moment that was. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I just didn't bring the stuff I knew I needed to do it. <sighs> One sec, i got to beat this level. Uh, okay. Uh, no, sorry, I wasn't trying to... Recommend. What? I didn't even hear you. I was busy thinking about something. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you want? Uh, nothing. It, it, it's fine. Sorry to have disturbed you, mate. Oh, what? Uh. Huh. I. What? Okay. You know what? I think I got this in the second series, but uh, I had completely forgotten about it. We were... We were... And I just walk out of the clouds. Why are you here? Well, I was coming to bring you your birthday present, actually. Oh no! Nyan cats in their native environment. Don't get too close. The song will never leave your head. No, 
reminded me of something. Even the tiniest, blandest, simplest light holds a wonderful secret. That's quite profound. Now, I know why you're here. It's a sign. <laughs> of what? Oh dear. Ah! I see. Okay. There were there were lots of moons up there. The last time I saw saw moons, you know, just multiply like that, it was in the final station. That that was a very different scenario. My lord, Havak, there's something special about Havak. Our destinies will intersect. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I mean, I here you go. Happy birthday. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. You're more than welcome. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. I will see what I can do. And it's such a long trip to the city. I will see what I can do. I promise. My goodness, though. What? Uh, again? What? Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. There's just something about Emily, it seems. Hello, little feathered friends. My friends! Hmm. Incoming! Oh! Oh no, you poor thing! Wing is broken. Oh, my lord, I forgot how ridiculously cute that was. Oh, you're a bit different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. Don't worry. I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be alright. You are ultra good people, Emily. Emily took the injured parent into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. Wow. Hello, Shane. I'm surprised that you're still trying to make friends with me. Haven't I been rude enough to you yet? No. <laughs> you vastly underestimate how stubborn I am. Ah, my goodness. I actually believe that, yes, Emily is now, we can probably go into her room to say hello to the, the, uh, to the bird. Hooray. Hello. I hope you're feeling better, or feel better soon, at the very least. Oh, that was that was that was sincerely such a heartwarming little sequence there. That that legitimately was such a sweet little cutscene. My goodness, the two back to back though. That was that was like woof. That was a lot. I used to love looking at the clouds, but I have trouble seeing them these days. My eyes just don't work as well as they used to. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't worry though. Don't worry. One day we'll have cyber eyes. Uh, Lewis doesn't want to talk. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's uh, carry on. We need to go back and get that uh, copper. I'm fast, too. I am I am hopelessly running out of time. Uh, I should have really focused more. I feel so bad. We've got three hours. No, we've got two hours. Oh, my lord. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If only I had the minecarts. But that would just be too easy now, wouldn't it? If only I could run. Instead of just, you know, well, actually, to be fair, look, that's quite a clip that I'm moving at. And I see you there, Wiggly Worms. I just don't have time to stop. So, yes, we probably are running at all times. Except uh, when you have coffee, then you're sprinting at all times. And, uh, yeah, no, that, that, that kind of makes sense. That makes sense. All right, let's go and visit Clint. Finally. My lord. That took entirely, entirely too long. I should have picked up the fishing rod. I was there, though. Ah, dread damn and blast. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Hello, Clint. I would like to upgrade to a copper watering can. Thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. Should be ready in a couple of days. Thank you ever so much, mate. And in thanks, here is a whole copper bar. This is a fun gift. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Uh, how you doing? Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Well, okay. Moving on. Moving on. My goodness, though. So 
much is going on in today's episode. I mean, it's fair, considering we are actually, uh, we're not even halfway through it either. But we are making our way to the end of spring, so it does make sense. I would like to donate some things to the museum, if I may. I would like to donate not very many things, I guess, now because I've uh, uh, used them elsewhere. But um, should the Earth Crystal go here? I kind of feel the Earth Crystal should go up there. Hmm, no rewards. Okay. So a little ways to go, then. Uh, oh, no, sorry about that. The Secret of the Star Drop. For thousands of years, people have been intrigued by the mysterious powers of the Star Drop, but no one knows where they came from. Professor R.J. Kutler, a leading researcher on strange fruit, says this. We've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites that closely resembles the Star Drop, but it's not a proven match. Regardless of where they came from, the peculiar fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious, and some even claim they grant special powers to those who eat them. Journey of the Prairie King, the smash hit video game. Did you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King is automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize? Did you know the developer has stated that the protagonist is based on a real-life character, a true cowboy hero from the Prairie Island in the Gem Sea? Fascinating. Too much fascinating, really. Oh, my lord, it's such a busy day today. I'm not sure I was prepared for it. Though, honestly, that, that <laughs> Emily's cutscenes, they, they steal my heart every single time. If the local fishing scene got a little bit more lively, I might expand the ship's, uh, the, the, the ship's stock, the, the, the stock's ship. I, I don't know. I, you probably wouldn't like it inside my cabin. It's dark and full of spiders. I like spiders, though. Like, I, I really, really like spiders. My lord. All right, let's have a quick poke around. We can't fish, sadly, but we can still collect some coral, which would be lovely. If they, oh, there we are. Excellent. I shall take you, and indeed you, and some wiggly worms. Tonk. Another lost book. Well, there's a lot of coral down here, isn't there? Okay. Not bad at all, actually. All right. Well, the next place that we've got on our varied list of destinations is the community center. So uh, let's just have a, a quick review again. I'm actually really happy with the progress we're making. I, it, there's a lot more work to be done, certainly. And there's a couple of people that I'm not friends with at all. And that saddens me coming to the end end of spring. That saddens me a lot. Uh, but we will we'll do our best. We'll, we'll, we'll make a special effort. Uh, pretty much right now, actually. Let's go and go and see if we can't find them. Hey, Pam. I wish a team of elves would come during the night and tidy up my house. <laughs> uh, I should go for some parsnips, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. My arms are really sore, but that's the sign of progress for a guy like me. It's also a sign that you hurt yourself. I must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. Yeah, that's not going to make your, your, your muscles any better. That, that, it's really not. I love to decorate for the diff for different seasons. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna make your endurance amazing. But uh, yeah, you, you should probably listen when your muscles start screaming like that. Once again, high resistance. Right, let's go and drop by and drop off a lot of things. All right, let's check in the uh, the pantry first. Okay. Rare crops bundle, that's not going to be it. Uh, I wish there was a way we could just swing through all of these. Uh, fish farmer's bundle. What is the fish farm? I think that actually may be new. Nothing there. And... No, nothing there either. Okay, fair enough. I guess we will check out down here then. Tonk. Now, the... Summer forage bundle will have the blackberries, and uh, there we go. Pop. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, that's uh, that's grape there. My bad. Okay, well that's that one's taken care of. It may actually be the fall. Yes, there we are. I will accept you. Also the wild plum. You can go in there as well. Perfect. Uh, was there anything else we required? I don't think there is actually. So have a quick gander. Oh, we've got some copper that I'm is needed. And the wood, of course, but that's going to take a while for us to get to. Let's go and uh, contribute the copper, though. We'll start making making a bit of progress with all of that. It's just going to take a bit of time. Nothing is going to happen quickly. But we'll make a little bit of progress frequently. All right, so we want blacksmith's bundle. There you go. Perfect. 
That one is, is is actually one of the easier ones to complete, in my opinion. It's generally quite quite a quite an easy one to to get done. It's just a matter of time and and being disciplined with your with yourself and making sure you do visit the mines frequently. Right. Okay. Well, let's go and uh, say hello to those wiggly worms. And by hello, I mean dig them up. There we are. Right. There you go. Ah, clay. You know what? Clay will come in handy very, very soon. So uh, that's fine. Nothing much up there for me right now. Okay. Well, it's 7 p.m. There's not a lot of places I could go to right now that would be particularly useful for me, but there is quite a lot that we can do around the farm still. Also, I would like to drop off all of this wonderful coral that we've got. Thank you. And hmm, I'm really tempted. I'm shockingly tempted to go ahead and make a uh, a bunch of, of uh, spring seeds. Yeah, let's go ahead and try and make as many as we can. It, it's going to... Well, the leeks... I know that they're a, a favorite of George. I know the daffodils are a favorite of actually quite a few people. The dandelions, not as, uh, as much of a concern. Uh, we're limited by the daffodils, really. I'm going to keep those five gold daffodils, though. But let's quickly just make these seeds uh, as we can. There we are. The rest, I guess, we're just going to keep. Uh, that makes sense. The, the leeks will be okay. I can just constantly give dandelions to Pierre. That should be fair enough. Uh, the seeds, though, I think we're going to sell these. We've already got 55 spring seeds. Uh, let's take all of them and then just drop off 10. Uh, well, actually, let's let's make a, a, a nine because that's a, a nice uh, a nice uh, area then. That being said, eight is the better one because if we had sprinklers in there. Still, this is a lot of seeds. You know what? I'm going to make it a, a nice round number. We'll sell 70 of them. Tonk, that will get us a bit of extra cash for for the uh, coming season. Now, I don't know if you can purchase items from Pierre's ahead of time. I actually need a side. Uh, I don't think you can. I don't think uh, he'll start selling summer seeds until it's actually summer, sadly. Uh, excuse me. Sorry about that, Yoko. Go and grab the side. There we go. Now, what was it that I required? I needed two copper buns for that. Well, we've already we're already past that point, sadly. Um, getting the preserves jar is a fairly high priority, but we're just we're so far away. Really frustratingly so, but it's true. We're very very far away from that. Let's go and get some wild seeds. And the nice thing about the wild seeds here is that I'm going to be able to use them in summer. Because I don't think they are specific to the the season that you got them in. They're just specific to the season that they they uh, they are grown in. As far as I'm aware, I could I could be wrong about that, but I'm fairly certain I'm not. All right, okay, well that's good enough. Let's uh, get a little bit of wood chop. There we are. I wouldn't mind building a path all the way up and around here. And then back up the top. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's work on that. We've got a couple of things that we can do right now, but I think preparing uh, more pathing around the what? what how shenanigans? Uh, I think having uh, more paths and uh, ways of moving around would be very very useful overall. Let's grab all that. I'll drop off the leaks. There you go. In fact, I'm actually going to go all in. And we're going to make all of this into pathing. There we go. 66. Should do nicely. Right. First place we're going to place it is right down here. And come all the way up. And this way, let me uh, just place that down beneath myself. We can take this all the way down. We can have a nice little path then around, uh, around this. We can actually allow that to grow out a little bit. Uh, do I want to take this... Well, I can't go straight through this bush, so that's uh, that's automatic no-go. But we can just bring it down and then across. I think that should be fine. Because we want to bring that up from here. How close do I need to get? There we are. 
I will make this a double path, just up to a certain point. But at the same time, that's going to look all kinds of weird if it suddenly isn't a double path all the way. But we'll see what we can do. Maybe I'll have a, a little gate or something there, and then it'll just transition into a single path, and I think that should be okay. But we've now got a path most of the way. I could use my pick just to ensure that I can walk all the way myself. There we go. Perfect. Now we don't have to worry about anything growing in that area and uh, overgrowing the path. That is going to be nice and uh, nice and easy for us to get around with now. I would love to build a little bit of a fence around here, though. That's also something I'd like to work on. Maybe have a, another path going down on that side and across to actually enclose that area. Hmm. Yes, I think that would be very, very nice. It's 11.30. I've got a little bit of time, though. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and gather up some more rocks and see what we can do. There we are. Thank you. And swing back up to the top. And, I mean, we're going to need a lot of stone now to be able to, to build the preserve jar. But it's fine. I'm, I'm reticent to use up the coal until I've got a way of turning wood into coal. But we do actually have enough to be able to make the preserve jar. It's just, yeah. I, I kind of uh, feel that having the means to gather, uh, to make more um, uh, or uh, sorry, uh, ingots is a little bit more important right now. I think that's good enough. All right, let's grab this as well. There we are. Okay. I'm kind of kind of sad that, that spring is almost over. I'm going to have one more of these. There we go. And we can drop these off. Right. All the coal in there. That's fine. Mushroom can go over here. As well as the gold wild horse radish. It's going to be a while before we meet Krobus, so I... I don't really need to be gathering up gifts ready for that, but uh, oh well. All right, time for, for for a snooze. That was a particularly long day. That, that was a very long day in the end. There we go. A lot of money from those spring seeds. My goodness. 3,400, and uh, the vast majority of that came from spring seeds. And speaking about spring... This is going to be the last day of it. Let's check out what the weather report's going to be like for the first of summer. It's going to be a clear and sunny day all day. That does not surprise me. Oh, what about the fortune teller? Well, Wick, what, what's, uh, what looks my luck like today? Somewhat annoyed. Uh, okay. I'll bear that in mind. Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish. Omelette. It is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg. And I'm going to show you my secret method. You've learned how to cook an omelette. Thank you very much. We're back over enough to get a new house. Ooh. Dear Avak, I saw an article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is, going, is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mum. Aww. Avak, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon, Emily. New cooking recipe, salad. I love the fact you... Flip this letter over. Ah, oh, it's glorious. Never change, Emily. Ooh, that was a particularly good uh, wallop of uh, potatoes there. Sadly, we can't, we can't even lament that I can't uh, take care of this, but uh, we could, given the day now, either go out for some fishing or hit the mines mm, might be worth it might be worth it. <gasps> i can't give yoko any water <laughs> uh, that pains me so much truly i think it's going to be like three days before they've uh, they've there's a chance that they may have brought more fruit in but that truly does utterly destroy me i'm so sorry yoko uh, can I... Haha, -ha, there we go. Perfect. Right. Let's go and check down here. If there's any other forage. There is... Probably not, because we recently got the forage from down here. No, there's not. Okay, right. Well, then the question for us is we either gather more 
stone or we gather more wood. Can need both, really. In a way. I'm going to say... Uh, let's look at my skills. I'm going to say mining. It, it, it has to be mining. We're so, so far behind on mining. But on the way to visit the traveling merchant, we're going to go ahead and grab a uh, bit of wood. We are going to need a uh, decent amount to make each one of those uh, preserved jars. Yeah. And you as well, please and thank you. Oh, there we go. Now, I also very much like to go and visit uh, Asmodeus as well. Like I said, there's no time like the present. Putting things off is like, ah, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll take care of it tomorrow. Well, then, you could say that tomorrow, though, as well. And then the, the day after tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and before you know it, the month has gone by and you haven't even started the thing that you meant to start. Uh, amaranth seeds. Well, when do they get planted, though? Plant these in fall, right, don't we? Uh, milk, batwing, deluxe speed grow, puffer fish, cherry sapling. I mean, that's kind of useless to me now. Coffee beans. I already regret it. I already regret it. And for lots of good reasons, too. I could have bought the backpack. I could have upgraded my house. But no, I bought a bloody coffee bean. This is why I don't like coffee. This is why I don't like myself. Because I do it to myself. Ah! <laughs> ah, scallywags. Hello, Rasmodius. Uh, I sometimes observe the local villages in secret. That sounds creepy. I'm hoping to find an apprentice. Someday I will leave this mortal plane. But my arcane pursuits must continue. Would you like oak resin? This, I suppose I'll cast it into the flames and see what happens. Uh, I thought you liked oak resin. Dread. Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's hope it wasn't a hated one. No, it is straight up a dislike gift. Poop. That's not an easy one for me to get either. Damn it, what a waste. Oh, well. But yes, the, the thing with the coffee is that there's so many people in town that actually do really like it. So, by collecting it now, then it means that I'm going to be able to give them, you know, beloved gifts later. I know that Harvey really likes coffee. So, if no one else, then it'll be useful for him. Uh, my lord, the things I do for, for being social... Oh, no, that's that's not actually a rock that I can I can pick. It's just a rock in the dirt. There we go. Now I should probably, while I'm out this way, drop by and grab the uh, the um, spring onions. I almost called them leeks, but I secretly deep down knew they would. And this is the last day that I'm going to be able to collect them. It's been a couple of days where I haven't actually. There we go. And any more? No. Wow, okay. Very well. I am I am a little bit saddened that uh, Rosemary didn't like the oak, oak resin. That may be one of the, the universal dislikes, because I know one of the resins like no one likes, or at least almost no one. Um, so it may well be the case that that's, uh, that's one of them. But I was hoping that... Uh, that I, I kind of had a feeling that the Rasmodius needed or, or preferred one of the resins as a gift. Oh, well. We, we will have to learn from this mistake. There we go. And there we are, Marvis. That is more than enough wood for us for now. Now I need to get down the mines and just spend the day gathering stone, really. Uh, though, hopefully, we'll be able to make it down to level uh, level 20. That would be a nice way to wrap up spring, truly. Hello, Leah. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You hear any banging from inside the hut? It's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. I will bear this in mind, of course. Now, sadly, our coop isn't ready, so I can't yet purchase any chickens. Of course, the names will be selected from the patron name list. And uh, should we run out of that, then I will, then I will be uh, reliant on the comments. For, for names of our beloved pets and livestock. But uh, for the time being, 
Better be quick if you don't want to be named as a chicken, okay? <laughs> Just let me know. Uh, right, let's drop off the side. We're not going to need that. Don't even really need the axe. What we need are the swords. There we go. Now, let's pop in the coffee bean. There you go. And also all of the wood. Not too bad at all. Uh, some stone, extra stone there. Uh, okay, not going too badly. Let's drop off the forage. Um, yes, we'll drop off the sap as well. Actually, we had loads of sap. My lord, why did I think we didn't? Strange. Uh, the seeds down here. There we go. And then finally, the maple syrup. Okay. I think we're doing well so far. Now, I am shockingly low on energy, though. That's going to be a constant problem. Oops. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to dip into the salmon berries, really. I'm going to try and avoid using them if I can, but... Uh, oh well. uh, nope, that wasn't what I meant to do, but okay. All right. Now, we'll eat the spring onions on our way to try and top up our energy reserves for what will probably be a fairly long day down the mines. Now, it's, we're going to have a lot of time. Oop, thank you very much. We're going to have a lot of time down there. Almost a, a full 12 hours. Well, actually, if we're still there in 12 hours' time, then we are not getting back to bed. Sadly, it is, it's is—it's just the way of things. We are going to be sleeping on the uh, on the dirt along the road to bed. Here you go, Linus. That's a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome, mate. Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. I'm sorry to hear that. Again, it seems so... Un... I don't know. Like, Are we close to any any other place? I can't imagine anyone in, in, in Pelican Town would do that. But I mean, if you say it is, I've got no reason to doubt you. All right, let's get rid of you. Pop. Get some of this uh, early bug meat there. Now, sadly, I didn't think to, to bring any... Uh, any of the bug meat that I've got back at home with us, because that would have actually been quite a clever move. Already some copper, nice. There we go. Oh, and another ladder, wow. There you go. Someone in the comments was saying that if there's already a ladder on the on the level, you've got basically no chance of getting uh, another ladder from anything like uh, um, rocks or anything like that. But yeah, that, that has not been my experience so far. It really hasn't. Oh, I forgot my cherry bombs. Oh, that was a bit silly of me. Oh, well. All right, but let's head on down. Oh, we've got another rice chute. Nice. Can I get through this? I probably can, yeah. It's going to take me more energy to do it. That is an awful lot of stone. I am here for stone. Let's, let's be honest. I, that's one of the main things I've come down here for. There we go. I am going to make, need to uh, gobble down quite a lot of food keep my energy levels up because they they started out so low when we came down here but oh well now i do not want to go over there so we're gonna leave that until absolutely uh i absolutely need to we'll get through there as well thank you very much right let's gobble down some more spring onions i would rather use up all of the spring onions than uh than start on the um the salmon berries just yet there we go now as much as I bemoaned that I, I bought the coffee bean and I didn't have enough money to upgrade my house, I wasn't going to upgrade my house, realistically. And the reason for that is that would have left me with no money to purchase uh, summer crops on the first. So this is just a, uh, an easy way of me blaming coffee for, uh, coffee for something that really I wanted to do anyway. It's fine. I am glad to, to have it, though, so that uh, I can make a couple of... Uh, the more beloved gift. And let's be honest, that speed boost it gives is pretty amazing. Hello. And by hello, I mean, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to try and kill you. There we are. And I'm going to move you guys up there. There we go. Oof. Right. Are we going to be able to find the ladder down here, I wonder? That's some more coal, sure. But this is taking me a long time to get through, though. Which is a bit of a shame. Okay, there's... Oh, thank goodness. 
I was about to say there's a good chance it's going to be one of the one of the creatures then. That I'm going to have to kill in order to find the ladder, but no, nope, we manage it in the end. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, I can I can always uh, pickaxe the, <laughs> the bugs as well, I suppose. There we are again. Quite a healthy amount of stone here. We should be able to get one of the uh, preserve jars up and running for the the next. Uh, for for summer, or rather in time for summer. Not that we strictly need it for summer, per se, but... Oh. But getting one up and running as soon as we can is genuinely going to be the best for us. There we are. Thank you. And you as well. The Alcavaria. Hello. I would rather not have to deal with you because you're kind of a uh, bit of a tricky one to take down. But that Cherry bomb is really nice. It does take so much time though to get through it all. We've got enough to make the bug steak. Ooh, that was good timing. Very good timing, actually. I approve. Crunch. And we'll finish off these two spring onions. That'll free up an inventory spot. Right. Level 18 is the one with the track. Whether or not we're gonna have the same problem again, though, I don't know. And yes, I did I did notice, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And this is why I dislike them. Is that that uh, protective rocky shell they have? There we go. Now, are we going to find another convenient stairs down, or am I going to have to dig around for a while? Actually, I'm going to be a little bit lazy. I'm going to pop that down. Now, did we get it? No, we didn't. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping with that many rocks to get through that uh, there was a very high chance that we'd find a, a ladder. But, ah! Well, I really don't need to deal with you right now, so uh, I'm going to be on my way in a different direction. Ah, there we go. Right. Ooh. Very nice indeed. I approve. Ouch. I don't approve of that part, but at the very least, this is not an infested level. Uh, I'm very, very thankful for that. Right, let's uh, get through you. I know, using a lot of energy for this, but uh, look at all that stone we just got. This will give us enough for... Well, if we get enough coal, then enough for two preserve jars. Oh, poop. Well, of course. Disapprove. Disapproval. So much disapproval. Please stop. No. Ouch. Run away. I'm going to just try and follow my way down here if I can. No. All of you, please go away. Standing there is just going to get me hurt more. Is there still no ladder down here? No, there is not. Okay, I'm just going to have to tank it then. Oh. Okay, that's one down. I may be able to just eat enough food to regenerate all the health, but that was unfortunate. Oh, really? And another one as well? Why? Why did you come here just to die? I mean, to be fair, you are doing a good job of almost killing me, but still. That was just unnecessary, I feel. I will gobble down the cave car carrot, though. And then I'm going to eat a bunch of salmon berries. At this point, it's more to get my health back, because we can't survive that kind of damage again. There we go. Alright, so, once again, level 18. Proving to be a little bit troublesome, you are. I know, we've already got the ladder, but I felt like uh, just gathering a little bit more stone. Okay, then. The final level that we need to be on. As soon as I find a ladder... Oh, actually, that's a lie. Oh, no, it's a spiral. Okay, well, uh, I guess we're going down, then. Please, no. I, I would I'd be okay if you get trapped, yes. Oh, amazing, thank you. But I would actually like to know what's in the bottom of the spiral. If we can... There's always, they're generally actually fairly good places. It's just if you're shy on time, which I always seem to be by the time I get here, then they're a little bit more of a problem. But we now have a ladder down, so at the very least I can retreat and go use it. Coming up here. That's fine. You can pin yourself against the wall for me. That's marvelous, in fact. The uh, I think we're good. Let's carry on down. Oh, another ladder as well. Will there be anything worthwhile in the middle there? Eh, probably, honestly. Quite usually is. That is not the right weapon. 
There we go. Oh, really? A full block in the way as well? All right. I mean, I did come down here to get stone, ultimately, so... But we need to be out of here by 12. So badly. Right. You can just stand there, if you would be so kind. Or not, I guess. There we go. Please. Thank you. You are making this much more difficult than it needs to be. Ah, I got slimed in the end. Now I'm so slow. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, can't continue on. Now, the problem here is that if I don't find a ladder, I am actually making this worse for myself at this point by uh, following this route. Yeah, I'm, I'm low on energy. I actually do need to bail now. Ah, such a shame. There are items down there, and you never know. You, you can sometimes find something quite quite useful there. It's not always a guarantee, though. It can just generally be, you know, just items. Just useful items, to be sure. But, uh, we've got a magnet ring. Well, isn't that marvelous? You've received a magnet ring. Okay, well, uh, I think I shall put it on. Increases the radius for collecting items. There we go. And we can go down further or back up, which is obviously what we're going to be doing. Right, now, can I grab everything else out of here? Yes, I can. Right, we've got to make pretty swift progress to get back now. We've got uh, an hour and 20 minutes. We will be able to make it. In fact, we may be able to uh, drop off some items before we uh, tuck it down for the night. But uh, all things said and done, I think we actually made some pretty good progress in the mines there. Very, very happy with it, in fact. Very happy with it. We'll easily be able to get to bed, actually. Uh, the, the, the problem with this is that I can so easily get to bed that I'm going to be tempted to do other things. And that is where things go wrong. It's always hubris to get to me. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> play, to your, play to your strengths, I guess. All right, let's uh, see if I can drop off enough items. We have now got enough uh, copper there to, to do a... Uh, to make a... Uh, uh, sorry, to complete a quest. Uh, I think everything else is all right in there. Let's drop off the seeds. Thank you. Drop off the fiber. Drop off the seeds. I completely forgot that one. Uh, the sap, the cave carrot, and the salmon berries. Well, actually, the salmon berries are going to have to stay on my person for now. Simply because, uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, we don't have any other kind of fuel source. Uh, that is food source. Fuel source. I mean, technically true, but still. Right. Finally, time to turn in. And at long last, sadly, in many ways, say goodbye to spring. We got level three mining though, so we've got minus treat. Excellent. We're going to use less energy when we're using our pickaxe. All in all, a pretty good day. Even made a little bit of cash as well. But here we are. Day one of summer is finally here. And with that, oh look, our plants have changed. That's amazing. Your copper watering can is ready and not a moment too soon. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. I hope you're looking forward to the next and to summer. But that is going to be it from me and, of course, from Yoko. Though you can't see her, I'm sure she is wagging her tail enthusiastically is as a means of saying a fond farewell. But that's going to be it from us. So until next time, and as always, do take care.